a very healthy and cheerful morning to all my dear students as you know in the previous lesson the poem field mouse was explained to you all so today moving ahead we are going to discuss the question and answers of the same poem i'm going to start with the a part as it is given in your books answer the following questions orally question number 1 refer to the first stanza and describe the appearance of the field mouse the field mouse has soft brown fur and bright eyes so this is the answer to first question as it has been described in the first stanza of your poem that field mouse has soft brown fur and bright eyes question number 2 why isn't the field mouse seen during the winter season the answer is In the winter season the field mouse sleeps hibernating throughout the winters. Question number 3 When does the field mouse become active again? The field mouse becomes active again when the warm weather comes back. Now question number 4 describe the food habits of the field mouse. The field mouse eats nuts, acorns, corn and grain. It collects these from the meadow and fields and even sometimes from the farmer's granary. Moving on to question number 5. What does the poet forbid the field mouse to do? The poet forbids the field mouse from stealing the grain from the farmer's granary where he has stored it next is question number 6 refer to the last stanza and explain the poet's advice to the field mouse the poet advised the field mouse to make its hole among the moss under the tall oak and play harmlessly under its shade or on the sunny meadow but to avoid the corn and the house of the farmer to prevent any harm befalling him now moving ahead is part b and question number 1 is what do you understand by farmer stacks his treasure the farmer's treasure is his harvest of grain and corn he stacks it in his house question number 2 what does the poet mean by pretty quiet harmless thing the poet finds the little field mouse pretty and finds that it is harmless and quiet question number 3 he has stacked with so much pain who is implied by he he is the farmer b part what has been stacked he has stacked grain and corn and c part does the poet sympathize with the person referred to here why the poet sympathizes with the farmer and respects that he has collected his treasure with so much pain but at the same time he sympathizes with the little field mouse also and advises him to keep away from the farmer's house and store so dear students these were the question and answers of the poem field mouse i hope you all must have understood so just uh, go through it once again and learn well and just prepare well for your upcoming exams thank you all and have a great day ahead